So at this stage, I'm getting ready to do the uh, these hubs for the spindles, and like a total doofus, didn't realize I left tape on the the camera because I was videotaping a job before that was really loud, and so I hear I'm explaining in a very muffled voice. <laughs> so uh, uh, I'm going to put in put in that uh, that bearing. The one side's done, but I got to do the other side. Two of them are already done, and here I'm just showing how the the bearing goes in and the that snap ring holds that bearing in place. That was it. It was a more secure way than than just letting the spacers in between the shackle keep keep that centered. Uh, it, it keeps the bearing from floating around in there, so. I, I like that a lot better just just for uh, reliability later on so and sometime I'll get it in the lathe here and get get machining on it so I'll sped this up for for time uh, so here I'm just facing it the length. It's two and a quarter. Uh, uh, just using a CNMG insert. Uh, I actually kept these the edges pretty sharp. I mean, I did I did deburr them, but uh, normally I'd put a nice little radius on them, but I I didn't on these. So I uh, boring these out to inch and an eighth. Uh, four four eight deep. Uh, that, that's enough room for the bearing and the snap ring. So, just take my time. To, I'm running about 450 RPM. Um, about a, a stand around 25 thousandths, or uh, excuse me, 12 and a half thou depth of cut, uh, 6 thousandths feed rate. Uh, it seemed to be pretty good. I, I don't like to work this. This boring bar is pretty small. I don't like to work it too hard. Uh, the the inserts just don't hold up on, on carbon steel on brass and things and they they go very well uh, so now I'm just putting a, a recess on the inside uh, so the inner race of the bearing doesn't doesn't touch so it's just resting on the outer race so here I'm over at the mill uh, putting in these counter bores for the to accept the spindle and I will I'm starting with a half inch because my end mill is in the center cutting uh, using the Noga to, to do my depth on my quill uh, then I'm going back in with a one inch to finish the bore and the, and the head of the mill is canned at one degree to get the camber for that So here we're back over the lathe, and I am. These are the spindles. Uh, I'm using a. I wanted to use some 1045, and that's what I thought I had, but it turned out to be just 1018, which is fine for what for what they're doing. Uh, so right now, just doing a cleanup cut on the face. Uh, I'm, first, I'm going to run this to seam this down to one inch. Uh, that's that's a finished size. This is inch and a quarter material. I'm uh, just going to cut as much as I can, sticking out from the chuck. Uh, take it down nice and slow. This is the this is the part that fits into that uh, bore that I put in the, the spindle sh the hub. Uh, so uh, just using a CNMG 431 insert. Uh, bring that down in. That's one thing I don't like about 1018 is I always have a hard time getting a nice clean finish. So I'm just sticking, yep, just sticking that bore.
in about a 3,000th cleanup. One of my calipers, or, uh, uh, or my mics was off. I didn't find that out until this stage. They're about 3,000 off. So I've got the two machine parts here. Uh, this goes in the socket, set to that one degree camber, and let's just weld them up.
so the these are welded. Now we need to put the tie rod connections on here. Uh, got a left and a right now. Now now it's important to remember that. So so these go right here. Let's get those put up. It's a half inch down. Okay, so I'm back. Apparently the camera decided to stop recording, so lost a lot of the welding of these. Um, I really like the patina that the weld put on here, but the more I, I was thinking of just leaving it and polishing the stainless part, but the more, the more I look at it, it's kind of uneven and it, I don't want to heat it up more and make it so these bearings don't fit because they fit really nice. So I, I'll probably still sandblast it and, and uh, paint it black. Uh, that was the original plan. But I, I, I would need to heat it up some more to get that blue temper to come in. But it's, it's kind of neat, but I just don't want to affect the bearing fit. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. So there's the two. Go like that. There we go. <laughs> like that. And then, then they each get this hub for the rim. That goes there. And once I have everything mounted, I'll, I'll drill this hole for these uh, castle nuts. And then 